Meta's Llama 2 is probably one of the most popular large language model out there. Now, AWS has announced the availability of Meta's Llama 2 chat 13 billion LLM on Amazon Bedrock. By this, Amazon Bedrock has become the first public cloud service to offer a fully managed API for Llama 2. Llama 2 is Meta's next gen LLM, which has shown the performance on various leaderboard. So if you want to access Llama 2 chat model on Amazon Bedrock without having to manage the underlying infrastructure for Llama 2, then you can do so by ease. Now, if you don't know what Amazon Bedrock, I have a full course on Bedrock and I'll drop the link in video's description. But just to give you a very quick overview, Amazon Bedrock is a fully managed service that offers the choice of high performing foundation models or LLMs from leading AI companies, including AI21 Labs, Anthropic, Cohere, Stability AI, Amazon, and now Meta. So it becomes quite easy for you to install and to avoid installation and managing the infrastructure of all of these LLMs. Simply you can use these API calls from Bedrock to manage these Llama models. Okay, now that's done and dusted. Let's see how you can use this Llama 2 model from Amazon Bedrock. On your screen that you can see that I'm already logged into my AWS account. So log into your own AWS account, go to Amazon Bedrock service, and then on the left hand side, click on this model access. Once you click on this model access, you will have access to all the models you have access to. So if you scroll down, there you see that we have Meta's Llama 2 chat 13 billion, and it is available to request. Now, the funny thing is that you cannot request it from here. You need to click on the top right on this manage model access to request access. So click on this. Once you click here, you will see that there you have Llama 2 chat 13 billion. Just select this checkbox. If you want to unselect any of the model you don't want access, you can unselect and then scroll down and click on save changes. Once you click there, you will see that it is in progress. So let's wait for it to become access granted in green. And I have seen that it takes several minutes to get this access granted, sometime from five to 15 minutes. So give it a time. But meanwhile, let me show you how I intend to access this Llama 2 chat model from Amazon Bedrock. You can access it uh, from console, but uh, first let me quickly show you how you can do it through code. So this is my VS code, where I have this uh, Amazon Boto3 API through which I'm calling this. Let me walk you through the code. So I already have installed AWC Live Boto3 on my local laptop, and this is my local laptop through which I'm using Boto3. The first thing, import these two libraries, then get the Boto3 client for Amazon Bedrock, specify your model ID. And in, in this case, we have this meta.llama 13 b chat v1. And then create the payload for this model. By payload, we mean some of the parameters we use with the prompt. So the prompt here I'm going to use, I'm just going to cut it from here, paste it here, and then just call it maybe vpro. Or maybe I will just remove all of this and use it down. But it's okay. Now, model ID is this prompt I'm using it. Um, I'm just doing a role play. I'm asking this model, you're a mountaineer. You guide beginners as how to climb the world's highest peaks. And then the question is how to climb the K2 mountain in Pakistan. Then these are few of the JSON parameters. And then these are the parameters which I was talking about. We are passing it. Um, prompt, then how much the length would be, and then the top probability, this is output tokens, and then the randomness of the response. The lower the, so it can be from the, between zero to one. The more closer to zero, it will be very non-deterministic, and closer to one will be sort of constant. And then we are invoking the model with this body, model ID, and then the JSON um, configuration. And then we are getting the response back. We are getting the body, decoding it, loading the JSON, and then printing it here at the end. So we are sending our prompt, or we are doing inference with this Llama 2 model with this bedrock, and simply printing out the response. 
and I have various videos on bedrock with different model. If you're interested, you can search it. Okay, let's go back to our uh, model and see if it is available or not. Let me take you to my browser and then let me refresh it. Click on the fresh button, go down. So you can see that now the access has been granted. Cool. Let's back, go back to our code. And I will invoke my code here. So this is again my code. And as I mentioned, I'm using uh, Git Bash for, to run this code in my VS Code Studio, VS Code in my local laptop. Okay, so let me run this. I'm just going to say Pi and then my lava 2 13 let me check it so there i am running my lama 213 b bedrock python and as you know we have passed it the mountaineering question so let's see what the response of lama 2 is i'm expecting a good comprehensive plan as how to climb that k2 mountain Let's wait for it to finish. There you go. So you can see it has come back with a very fine response. First, it is giving us what is K2. K2 is the second highest mountain in the world, is a challenging and dangerous peak. And then it has given us um, all the parameters around what should be done, prerequisites, and then how to go about it, weather, teamwork, safety, navigation, and all that stuff. And of course, it is um, the randomness is quite low. So it means that next time I give this uh, the same question it is going to give me a different response hopefully anyway so this is how you can play around with this if you want to chat with it you can go to the console and chat with that model easily so from console on the left hand side click on chat and then model category you can select meta here and then your model is llama 2 13 billion context size is undefined at the moment and then you can uh start chatting here you can see that this is where your chat is i'll say how to climb okay to mount mountain and then click on run and then it is going to display the uh response here it's taking a bit of a time but that is fine let's you already know how to use the console and how to use the code with this so I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or if you're stuck somewhere, let me know and I'll be happy to help out. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.